Hi friends, welcome back to Excel Map. This is Srinivas Reddy. In this video tutorial, we'll discuss about VLOOKUP with multiple columns. So friends, already in the previous sessions, we discussed about VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. What are the arguments in the VLOOKUP? Completely, we discussed. Now, we'll discuss about VLOOKUP with multiple columns. Friends, before coming to this video session, you have to know what is VLOOKUP. If you don't know, please watch the video. Now I'm sharing the video link in the description part. Now we'll see what is VLOOKUP with multiple columns with an example. Here we can observe there are two sheets. One is source data and another one is like a multiple columns. In the multiple columns sheet, I want quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four columns from the source data sheet. Here, seven columns are there like ID, product, customer and from quarter one to quarter four there are seven columns are there. In the multiple columns also already there are three columns. We need to pick this four columns like quarter one to quarter four. So first of all, we'll take the data for the quarter one column by using VLOOKUP function. See here is equal to VLOOKUP. So already we know about this. There are four arguments in the VLOOKUP function. Those are lookup value, table array, column index number and range lookup. First three arguments are required arguments and the last argument range lookup is optional. That's what it placed inside the square bracket. See lookup value, table array, column index number compulsory. We have to pass the arguments. Now we'll see lookup value for this 1008 ID table array. Go to the source data, select a complete range from A colon J. It will select complete entire data till 10 lakhs for 8,576. That means it will go to the end of the row for the A colon J columns. Now we select a table array that is range. Now we have to give the column index number. So I am asking there quarter one column. So where is the quarter one column? It is one, two, three, four. It's a fourth column, fourth number. Actually it is in the D column, but the column index number means you have to mention the column number. So there is ID is first column, product is second column, customer is third column, and the quarter one is the fourth column. We'll give four. And if you want exact values, we'll go for zero. Zero means what? Exact match. Zero or false, it goes to the exact values and close the bracket, then press enter. Now we got the result for the quarter one column, like a quarter two. See here, quarter one column index number is what? Four and quarter two, five, quarter three, six, quarter four, seven. Like this, we have to write four formulas. If there are 10 columns, we have to write 10 VLOOKUPs. It takes more time and it's a lengthy process. Writing 10 formulas or 20 formulas in a single sheet for different columns. So it takes more time and it is also a lengthy process. So instead of that, instead of writing multiple VLOOKUPs for different column index numbers, we'll write single formula. So that is called VLOOKUP with multiple columns. Means at a time, we'll take multiple columns data into the sheet based on the column index numbers that is called VLOOKUP with multiple columns. Same again we'll do. I'm deleting this data and first of all just listen carefully. We have to select the cells. So what are the columns you wanted to extract? Select those cells from left to right. See select left to right. So after selecting see already the first cells of every column was selected. After selecting again, if you are selecting this, see, the selection was gone. Don't do like this. Select it, drag towards right. Means we are selecting from left to right. So after selecting, just leave it. And type is equal to, see, still the selection is there. Then only this formula will work. So is equal to VLOOKUP. So what is the lookup value? Same process, 1008, that is A to cell, comma, go to table array. Table array means same, like go to source data. Here again, just we have to select a complete range. Just you have to follow the instructions how I'm doing. Because see, 
I'm not going to again uh, into other shades. Just I place it is equal to in the multiple columns and uh, after selecting the lookup value and go to the source data, selecting the table array range now comma. See here we are not giving one column. Here we are giving multiple columns. I'm taking open curly brace flower bracket. We call it as curly brace. So this symbol will use for array symbol array a r r a y array array means group of elements collection of elements. See here also because we are taking multiple columns are there four comma five comma six comma seven because I required four columns so four comma five comma six comma seven close curly brace comma zero. See instead of giving one column index number, I am placing inside the curly braces multiple column numbers instead of column index number. Now don't press enter directly. Don't press enter. See after completion of the formula, after closed bracket, press control plus shift plus enter. Control plus shift plus enter. See now we got four columns data. Now place the cursor in the corner, just double click. See now we got the result for the four columns at a time. Instead of writing four formulas, I did for single formula. See, we used only one formula. See here, is equal to VLOOKUP, lookup value in the source data from A colon J. And instead of column index number, we are taking inside the curly braces 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 0 bracket close. After that, just you have to press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter. So friends, uh, this kind of uh, formulas are very important uh, in our real-time scenarios. It saves a lot of time. Instead of writing multiple VLOOKUPs, we'll write a single VLOOKUP to take to extract multiple columns data. Thank you friends for watching this video. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and uh, share these videos to your friends.